Researchers at Livermore and around the world have been working on this moment for more than 60 years. So, what does this accomplishment do? Ignition allows us to replicate, for the first time, certain conditions that are found only in the stars and the sun. Fusion is, is regarded as an ideal energy source because um, it's well known to work. Of course, it's the, the energy source at the center of our sun, which provides the majority of our energy already. Um, and just re trying to reproduce that on the Earth is, is basically what we're trying to do. The basic fuel elements that go into it are uh, very abundant. Uh, essentially, we can extract them from seawater. So they're not going to run out um, anytime soon. And it's a very um, carbon-free, obviously uh, uh, low emissions, not just because it's not uh, burning fossil fuels, but also because of the energy content of, of fusion. team at Lawrence Livermore National Lab, National Ignition Facility, made the following happen. There's a tiny cylinder here at the end of this that you probably can't see. It's about so tall and this wide. Inside that was a, a small spherical capsule about half the diameter of a BB. 192 laser beams entered from the two ends of the cylinder and struck the inner wall. They didn't strike the capsule, they struck the inner wall of this cylinder and deposited energy and that happened in less time than it takes light to move 10 feet. So it's kind of fast.
turning this from a science demonstration into a, um, into a power source, there are many technological hurdles uh, that will need to be overcome as, as we go forwards. But in terms of the optimism that we can have that fusion may be, one day be the ideal power source that we thought it would be, that we've been trying to get working for 70 years and have never had the opportunity to generate more energy out than in. Um, that has now been demonstrated.